Hello everybody and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul, your host. We're doing a short video today, just for a few minutes here. I want to show you something. Now, as you might recall, I did a video recently regarding uh, how to get 90,000 nanites in an hour. And I mentioned during the video that you should really have the right multi-tool for the job, but I failed to show you anything regarding said multi-tool. Well, today I'm going to show you where I got that multi-tool from. And the first things first is I'm using a particular character. This is my very first saved character that I've ever made. Um, he's my alpha character, if you will. And as you can see, I still haven't done much in regards to, uh, you know, fixing everything up in regards to, you know, his ships and stuff like that. So, but we're going to use this one anyway. I'm on one of my favorite uh, planets here. I uh, really, really like this place, and I like how I designed it out. Anyway, first things first. What you need is, number one, you need to have multiplayer disabled. Because everybody's after this tool. So therefore, you need it disabled. If it's enabled and you arrive in the system, there's a good chance somebody else will be going for it or that it won't be there when you get there. So that's number one. Make sure that's disabled. Secondly, you need to have all the glyphs because you're going to be going through a portal to get there. Thirdly, you need to be in the Euclid galaxy. You cannot be in any other galaxy. You can't be in Isentum or, or, or uh, any of the other galaxies. I can't think of the names off the top of my head. And to get there, we are going to be taking our ship over to a portal real fast. I happen to have one pretty close by where that save beacon is. Just go up to a little bit of a higher height. Because I'll get there faster this way. And back down again. I always try to build bases on planets somewhere near the portals. I try to find out where the portal is first before I build a base. Here we go. So, you need yourself a working portal. Make sure, of course, I park the nose of my ship right on it. I like to save anyway. This one should be ready. Yep. So, where are we going? So, before I do the activate portal, I'm going to show you where we're going. So as you can see at the top of our screen, we happen to have the coordinates. Now the top of it is the actual coordinate of the planet, where we're going to be going. Uh, from the Euclid Galaxy, we'll be putting those particular coordinates in. The coordinates underneath that are where on the planet you're going to find it, because this portal is actually on the planet that the multi-tool is located at. And thirdly and lastly, you'll see that I got these from the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange. Uh, feel free to peruse that site. You can find ships, freighters, multi-tools, anything to your heart's content. Crashed ships, non-crashed ships, anything you like. Very good place to go to get anything. A lot of the different uh, players out there use this to find what they're looking for. So hopefully you took a screenshot of that or something along those lines. I'm going to go ahead and make it disappear. And we're going to come back. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate our portal. And we're going to do those coordinates just like you saw. Hang on just a second here. Okay. So our first coordinate, we're going to go, and I'm just going to call them out as I like to call them. They're not necessarily what these are. Okay, so bird, sunrise. Dragonfly, YMCA, or hands in the air. Then we're going to go back to the uh, Sunrise, Trivial Pursuit, Sunrise again, Hot Air Balloon. Anybody? Anybody? Triforce? Hot Air Balloon. Back to the bird, and over to the Dragonfly. And we're on our way. Go ahead and take a little jaunt through here. And we're back. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm not getting all these comments, I've turned them off. Well, I thought I turned them off. So we're going to get some funky comments when we get over there. So here we go. Yep. Those fellas are a genius for finding this particular weapon. Okay. So the weapon in question should be... Hold on a second here. Is it that way? That's him. Oh, it's to the left. Yeah, it's over here. 
new tab that I want to go. Station station. Supercargo. It should be right over here. Hmm, something, huh? Okay. But it should be over here. So one way you can tell is you're going to look down the bottom left of your screen. Now, depending upon the fighter, it might be in a different area. Uh, so this fighter, it happens to be at the bottom left. On some of the exotics, it's going to be more towards the center or just to the left of the screen. Um, and we want to get to those coordinates that we mentioned earlier. So I'm going to take a little trip upwards into the atmosphere. You can see our speed increases exponentially, just about. And we can come back down and take a look. Uh, let's make sure we have the right spot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's where we're located. get myself lined up. There we go. Gun. Yeah. Now this particular base, a lot of people, as you can see, a lot of people have made bases all around this area. It's pretty close to that save beacon, but one of these bases is actually where the town's located. And somebody went a little crazy with it and actually put trees up and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Is this it? There we go. Nope, that's not it. My apologies, give me a second here. Yep, this is the one. We'll just land on this particular landing pad here. As you know, I really hate first person when I'm flying. I want to thank you for whoever put that base there. They sure did a lot over here. Now, what you notice it says no reload, so do not save and reload. What will happen is you will get a different gun. This is the gun in question, so let's take a look at it. You'll notice that its supercharged slots are all right next to each other. That is the key you're looking for. It's already got a pretty decent damage potential, so we're going to go ahead and compare it to the one I have. You'll notice that my uh, current multi-tool, I have nothing on it. I want to get rid of this. I've already got one just like it, so I really don't need this one. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the, do the exchange. I've got plenty of credits to do it with. And I now have said multi-tool. And this is what it looks like. So this is what the base model you can get now. I will tell you, if you go up to the space station, there's one just like it, same name, but an A-class model. And if you have the, the nanites, you can upgrade it to an S-class if you want. And you can have two of these. You know, But feel free to rename it whatever you wish. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and pause this game, and I'm going to pick up my other character. And I'll come back in just a second. And we're back. So here's the current save that I usually play on. This is uh, my main character as, as he currently is. So we're going to go ahead and take, take a look at the multi-tool that I happen to have. And as you can see, it is the same multi-tool. But I renamed it the OSOC. One shot, one kill. So what are we doing as far as damage-wise is concerned? We're hitting 30,000 damage with just the Pulse Spitter alone. Now, yes, I do have some X-Class upgrades in here. And two of them are in the, uh, three of them are in the supercharged slots. So I try to look for the best X-Class upgrades I can possibly get. S-Class just doesn't quite cut it. But what do we do in, because a lot of people are partial to the uh, Scatter Blaster. And as you can see, I do have a Scatter Blaster in here. So we're going to go ahead and put the Scatter Blaster in. Let's see what you think of this now. Watch the damage. Now, damage potential right now, this is just what the weapons as they are, is 11,005. Okay, that's usually that used to be the highest you could get with one of these. So let's put the scatter blaster in. Eighteen thousand. Twenty-one. Thirty-one. Forty-two thousand damage. With the scatter blaster, what kind of damage can a scatter blaster do with that kind of shot potential? Shall we check it out? I'll be right back. Now, uh, I'm sure this kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? Yep, we're back here again. No storms going on, but you know exactly what I'm going to do here. So I've got the Scatter Blaster armed as we speak. Some over here... There they are. We just want to steal a Gravitino Ball or two. Just one ought to do. Climb up. Plants everywhere.
So I've got my pulse spitter going right now. I just want to attract attention. Yep, come on, boys. Come on up here. Come on. Bring your uh, extended warranties up here, my friends. You know, you don't need the search. I'm right here. And we're going to switch over to the scatter blaster when they get in range. I think that's close enough, don't you? Scatter blaster. Let's make sure we're fully reloaded. Ready? Let me show you this. Ugh. It actually does a double shot. Little guys are gone in one. Big guys usually gone in, t gone in two shots. And it's loud. Gone. Hence the name one shot, one kill. Let's get this guy here. You can almost not even hold the gun. Wow, that's a pretty deep hole they just dug. And this one, I don't have a big clip to it, but... See what I mean from distance? It's kind of tough from a distance to get this working right. But... If you can actually stand still in front of one of these boys, let me get over to level ground because it's a little bit tough. The kickback on this is tremendous, surprisingly. But we'll go ahead and do this one more time, and I'll pull back the pulse spitter and we'll, we'll do that one. There you are. A little closer. And... That's the reason why it's one shot, one kill. So needless to say, this is a pretty awesome weapon to have. And with 42,000 damage, there's not a whole lot that they can do to stop you. And it just erases everything that comes at you. But again, from a distance, I can take that one out only because it's a weaker Hey, hi there. Let's uh, see how you do. Two. Two shots. I just two-shotted, or if you will, four-shotted, a quad. So that tells you how powerful this weapon is. So, needless to say, and I'm going to go ahead and take it in now. I don't need to do any more of this. <laughs> yeah, Sentinel Walker, huh? Well, I'm running low on ammunition. Let's go ahead and get myself a little more ammo. Maybe we'll take out the walker and just see what that's like. That should be enough. Hi, how you doing? You guys follow pretty quick, huh? Goodbye. How about you? Gone. Next. Gone. Next. Always a good idea to keep just reloading. go. Shall we? Now I'm going to take some damage, but we're going to be close. Two, three, gone. Yep. Those mechs, they just can't handle it. You're here still. I'm going to get rid of you. Two. I went in my own house through the wrong door. That's weird. Goodbye. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Oh, you're here. He's kind of buried. There we go. That was weird. Must have been a hole down in there I didn't know about. So we're getting level five here. And again, I'm going through this one quick. I could sit here and go nanite crazy if I want. And I didn't want to spend this long at this, but I figured I'll show it off to you a little bit. That? Oh, okay, good. About to say. Oh, another mech.
shall we? Oh, he disappeared on me. There he is. Why, hi there. One, two, three. Got both legs. Gotta reload. Hold on. Two, three, and four. And he's gone. So that is the damage that you can expect from one of these. Oh, we need to take him out or else we're not going to end this fight. And that's a deep hole that these guys have built. This is the reason why when you're doing the nanite run, you stay on a platform somewhere. I probably need to collect something sooner or later before I start losing my shields. Wow. Never seen one roll down a hill before. Just about finished. He's gone. Wow, okay, the recoil is incredible. Is that it? Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Nope, there seems to be one more somewhere. And he's over here. That should be everybody. So there you go. So how long did that take? 17 minutes, and the whole network's been disabled. So, yeah, uh, let's see, one, two, you can two-shot the legs if you get the right angle on it, but if you hit the legs just right, you can four-shot them, you know, one, two, three, four down the leg, and then four shots, probably two to take out the shields and four more shots to take out the head. So four, eight, ten shots, you can take out a two-legged walker. That's with the scatter blaster, but you got to be close to do it. And that's the thing that always bothered me about it. So that's the reason why I select, even though this thing does an immense amount of damage, that's the reason why I go with the Pulse Spitter instead. So this is Elon Paul. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you know where to find the multi-tool. You know how to arrange things. Try to get the best upgrades you can possible. Pirate stations are a good, great place to get them from. Um, and well, that should do it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed the bonus video. And uh, we'll see you on the flip. Take care, folks.